Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how you can use knowledge base in Google Dialogflow Essential version. Knowledge base is a very powerful tool and it can help you create FAQ chatbot in a few simple steps. So let's get started and see how we can use knowledge base to help us create a FAQ chatbot. When you log in into Google Dialogflow with your Gmail account, you will see this kind of console. Here, if you have not created any agent, you will see these two things create new agent and view all agent you can click on create new agent and create a new agent i already have created an agent once you create agent you will see these two things if i test it with something it will trigger default fallback intent this one with a message and if i say hi it will trigger default welcome intent and the message is hello how can i help you now let's dive into knowledge base section though knowledge base is in beta version but it is very powerful in knowledge base we create a knowledge base and inside that knowledge base we insert documents the documents can be of three types first a pdf a url or a csv file i will show all of the three so let's create a knowledge base first let's say my knowledge base hit save Here, I will create my first document. Let's say document name is sample underscore PDF. Let me show you the PDF first. This is the sample PDF. It has only two questions. So when you create a PDF for your knowledge base, follow this syntax or follow this format heading and answer followed by that heading heading which is our question and answer followed by the heading so in knowledge base type we will select faq we can also select interactive question answering as well since we have pdf mime type is application pdf but if I would have selected FAQ, I would have not be able to now select PDF. So I will select interactive question answer, select PDF and then upload file from computer, select a file, go to my path. This is okay. Create. It will take some time to insert the document into the knowledge base. Okay, our document is inserted. Now we will enable the response. When you enable the response, you will see this thing comes up automatically and it shows that whenever user files a query and Dialogflow understand that this query matches to any document in the knowledge base, it will fire this response. Okay. So let me save this. Okay. It is saved now. Let's, let's see first our question and let me fire this question in the console. 
okay you see a knowledge base is triggered and you can see we got response from knowledge base this is the same response as this okay so this is how knowledge base works with pdf let's insert a new document let's say sample underscore url now url will work with faq a mime type will be text html and url will be a url so this is the url okay i have taken this url from internet just to show you how this works okay let me save this meanwhile let's say what why your website need faq pages i think we have faced an error so let me come up with a url the reason for the error is that the dialog flow knowledge base is not able to extract the information from this faq page so i have found a new url which is uh, google's own uh, faq url so let's hope this will work okay now i can see that a sample underscore url document is inserted let me save this let me test the question okay you can see that we got an answer from the knowledge base and it is the same answer we can see here okay sign up for cloud storage by turning on the cloud storage service okay this is good now let's see the third variation of providing knowledge based document is a csv file now you can see i have a csv file which has two column first column is a question name and second column is the answer for the question and also you can see that there is no header in the csv file don't provide any empty row in csv file cause that will create an error so i will delete this row so you can see i have a question what is your name okay we will search that i don't want to save the changes let me create a new document let's say sample underscore csv knowledge type will be faq mime type will be csv and i'll upload a csv file select a csv file from my desktop youtube and this is csv file let me create this okay the document is inserted we can see we have csv pdf and url let me save this let me try the question from the csv file what is your name okay i can get the answer i am a chatbot people call me bond james bond and if i again open the csv file we can see the same response here now this is a tricky part let me test it can i know your name okay now you can see the power of knowledge base it can detect 
a single trained question with multiple the same kind of phrases one more time with csv file you only have two columns and no empty row no header the first column is the question and the second column is the answer for that question for pdf you should have this kind of document where the heading is the question and subsequent text is the answer for that question and for url you should have a url which can be you know extracted by dialog flow i hope this gives you an insight how to use knowledge base in google dialog flow chatbot and create a simple faq chatbot in my subsequent video i will show you how you can create a faq chatbot and connect it to telegram so watch this space for more such kind of videos if you like my work please share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching peace